at the top of the world, literally. Video this time. Okay, hit it, Ryan. I don't have a lot of uh, video coverage of my 2017, but this is it. Uh, not too long before we ended up crashing it. Not sure it would have helped too much, but I sure wish I would have had a bumper before we met that tree. This is a picture of the 2019 when it first came home. nothing for this bike to cruise along at 40 45 even 50 I don't like to go too much over 50 because it gets a little squirrely um, as you go but uh, anyway I'll kind of give you a little demonstration on how it works and how nice and effortlessly effortlessly this bike runs down the road at that speed so here we go At this point, guys, I as I look back on the video clip, I couldn't believe how bad the audio was. I need to get a mic. But anyway, as you can see, the bike flies along, uh, no problem, uh, hardly any throttle, really, to, 
to maintain 40 miles an hour plus. I jump it up at one point to 50 and still it's no sweat for the bike. I, I really won't push it too much farther than that. I've taken it up over 60 and it still had plenty of juice. I just backed off because to me it gets a little squirrely. Um, they did re-clutch this bike for 19. They put uh, lighter clutch weights in so it's more uh, in line with what the Grizzly is. And uh, so the one thing that you get with this is a little more abrupt engine braking and you'll see that in just a minute here when it cuts back to the sound. But um, I tried a few times, but both my son and I could recognize the difference there in the engine braking, more significant. As I got going on this run, I wasn't paying too close attention, but there was an antelope buck on the right side of the road. He started wanting to cross in front of me, and I just about center punched him. Watch for him. <laughs> 